Today we're going to create uncensored images using Grok 3's artificial intelligence, which is an AI from XAI, owned by our very own Elon Musk. Let's get straight to it, no beating around the bush. To get in here, you can go to the website grok.com. Just type it into Google. Everything I'm going to do here in while I'm recording this video, it's free, okay? Let's go. I'm gonna use it to type in the image prompts here, the master prompts, which is my library that I provide for my mentees in the monetization mentorship. I'll leave the link in the video description if you want to know more. And here we have prompts for futurism, realistic people, famous people. Disney, Pixar, anyway, more than 20 categories, over 5,000 prompts and growing. What am I going to do here? I'm going to copy some prompts here. I'll start with the basics and then I'll spice it up. Just a reminder that Grow C, besides being uncensored, what does it mean to be uncensored, Rodrigo? It means I can make photos that are a bit more risque. And I can also generate images of politicians and celebrities. Let's see if this works. Let's go. Let's start with a normal image to check the quality. I'm going to start with futurism here. I'm going to type a prompt here. It accepts several languages. I've already tested English. I've tried Spanish. I've tried Brazilian Portuguese and it worked. Normally I'm going to open Google Translate here so you can take a look at what I'm typing. Okay. So here in this case, it's a futuristic humanoid cyborg with a partially human face with a logo. The humanoid man has a silver and pink design with pink neon lights and its sensors and joints. So you see that it's a pretty big prompt. The prompts here from the AI master are quite very complex, very detailed. What am I going to do? I've already put the prompt here. I'm going to press it now. Later, we're also going to test that, which is very important here. In image creation, the description of images. I'm going to show you the screen of my computer, how all of this works. In the meantime, feel free to comment down below. Do you already use any image AI? For example, Midjourney, Flux, Leonardo, and so on. Comment down below because I want to know. Look, how cool. You see that it's extremely realistic. Look at that. Here, it followed the prompt. Pink humanoid. Here too. Pink humanoid realistic. Here, it even picked up what I said to include the Tulu emblem. So, it worked really well. It comes with this watermark that you can easily stretch a bit in an editing program and it will be gone. Here, you can just click save here and you can save the image. Now let's put in a realistic woman and see how that works. I'm going to start by putting in a more casual realistic woman and then I'll spice it up. Let's go. So once again, I'm going to the master prompt here and you can see that the images are extremely realistic. Here, take a look. And here, what am I going to do? I'm going to take this prompt here. Of course, it doesn't turn out exactly the same because each artificial intelligence interprets things differently. So if you look here, it's a 30 year old woman with brown hair, long hair, piercing eyebrows, looking straight ahead with an unrestrained expression of lust. I'm using words here that some AIs like, for example, in the IPT chat or for instance, over at Midjourney, if you use certain words, sometimes it doesn't accept them. But let's take a look here. Let's click here. Let's see if Elon Musk is going to help us. Let's take a look here. Another thing that I noticed is that it's extremely fast. You can see that in just a few seconds, it's already generating and it's generating four images. Let's take a look here. Look at that here. Maybe it will block or maybe it won't. Look at the size of this. I can't talk. They are beautiful breasts, a well-endowed bust. Look uh, here, I put lips, so really, I put full lips. I added that expression of lust. So she really looks very beautiful. She's sexy. Here it is. Look, here. just the issue of the skin. Look at the oiliness of the skin. So it turned out really well. But guys, with each test, I'll comment down here because I want to, I want to know your opinions. Whenever I'm looking over here to the side, it's because there's another screen. There's a screen here, a screen here, and a screen in the middle. I work this way, but let's go. Let's move on to the third test. Let's open the master prompt again. And now I'm going to pick something sexier. I'm going to take this one. Oh, you can tell it's a bit sexier, right? So here we already have the issue of the bust, right? So let's see how much we can manage. I don't think that A and A will be the problem. 
The problem will perhaps be there, depending on where you are watching this video from. It may be that it might be censored, maybe. I hope not, I hope not. Let's take a look here. Now we have a 25-year-old woman, a beautiful woman. Sometimes you also put beautiful, some AIs block it. So beautiful woman, 25 years old, young looking face, silver bikini, there. A low neckline. Look, just... Here it is. Here, it went really well. Another thing you guys need to notice, folks, is the issue of the eyes. So, in the past, and even today, there are a lot of AIs here. We enter the uncanny valley because of the eyes. But here, it's looking really good. Here, too, when the hands appear, here. In this case, she looks a bit chubby. That's fine, no problem at all. It's a matter of beauty or ugliness. It's something subjective. But you can notice that the hands aren't hallucinating either. They're all with five fingers there and everything. Back in the day when I started, sometimes three would show up. One, two, three. That also caused this problem. But you can already see that there's some realism there. AIs are getting better and better. And this AI from Grokit, it's really good. Let's now move on to realistic people. Not realistic people, sorry. For uh, people that exist, real people. Let's bring in our dear Robert. I have a channel, a channel that is monetized internationally. Okay, good. In my mentoring sessions, I teach my mentees how to monetize international channels. This channel here, that I created the images in Grok3, it's a channel that already makes around one three hundred to two thousand dollars. And it's a channel that today, if you look here, has videos that get two point seven million, one point two million, one million four seventy nine thousand. I even have a YouTube manager. A lot of what I bring here, folks, is thanks to the YouTube manager. After I monetized the channel on my own, he started helping me. And I'm sharing these tips. I created the last videos in Grok. These last videos here, even this one, the images, I created it in Grok. And you see the quality. The Lord of the Rings hit 77,000. And just look at the quality of the images. Look at this. If you look here, then obviously I use video ass. Like, for example, Minimax. But just look at the quality of the images. Look how cool this is. Look here, Thor, for example. So, here is Harry Potter. Everything. Here in the field of the Lord of the Rings. So, really cool. Here, that guy who played Magneto in the X-Men movies. Michael Fassbender. So I used everything here. Grok 3, but let's take it again. Let's take Robert Pattinson here, who was the last Batman. Here, in this case, he's in the role of Leon from Resident Evil 2. So let's put it here. Let's do the test. It's going to create an image with real people, well-known people, which 90% of AIs today don't do. They don't allow... Let's take a look here. Look, just... We have our Robert Pattinson. Let's grab one more while it loads here. Let's go up a lot. Here. Here we have 4,000 images. And today it's hitting, I think, 7,000 images in the master prompt. Just copy-paste and make the changes. Look at Idris Elba here. Let's go up a lot. Let's grab here. Look, just Tom Holland. Here. The guy who played Loki. Tom Hiddleston. Let's pick someone really famous here. Pierce Brosnan. Let's grab it here. Be careful not to delete my library here. Look, just Russell Crowe. Let's grab here the... Let's just go a little bit more, folks. Look, let's grab someone from another field. Let's grab Sam Batman. That he is the CEO of OpenAI who created the GPT chat. Let's click here. Let's let it generate. In the meantime, we see the result here of Robert Pattinson. Look, he's just holding the gun. What's difficult here? Here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, here. He went a bit crazy, but this is really good. Let's take a look here. Look, uh, uh, that's really cool. Here you can even see other results that I created here. Look, oh, let's go. Here, the Batman. Look how cool. I put him crying, so he has a bit of a sad face. Here, crying. So it turned out really cool. Let's put Elon Musk in, right? Let's put Elon Musk in to see if it works. He would be, it would be ridiculous if Elon Musk didn't work, right? Now, right after this result, we're going to do an image description. Then, we're going to take this image description and generate a prompt. Okay, guys. And if you want tutorials with other tools like Deep Search, Think Right, leave a comment down below and I'll do this tutorial too. Here's Elon Musk. Look at the perfection. Look here. Even the imperfections on the face. Can you tell that this is an AI? Look at the eyes. Just, that's right. Wonderful. Okay. Impressive. I'm in shock with this quality. Now let's put an image here. What do we do? We click on the clip and you select the image here. Select files. It's going to go into my computer. I'm going to grab an image here for it to make the description. Let's grab an image here. All right. 
Let's take a look here. Let's take this one. Let me get one that isn't there with nothing written on it. Let's grab it. This image here. All right. There, cinema. Let's grab one from animation. Let's grab one from animation here. This was a video I made about Saint Seiya. Now I'm going to put it like this. Describe the, the oh, image and I'm going to hit enter. Look, this is what it's going to do. Let me see if I can open the image here. I can open the image. So this image, it's going to describe an image features an anime character with a powerful dynamic look. He has short black hair with a slightly messy style and expressive brown eyes. What's cool? It's cool to get this description. It's like a prompt and I can generate another image. So I can grab it here. Let's say I want to copy it, it and then I'm going to put it here. Create and also an image of Pegasus, Osos cloth of Saint Seiya. So what do I want to do? Uh, I'm going to try to do it in anime first. And then I'm going to try to take this prompt and make it realistic. So here, I'm just going to put style, anime and manga, anime and manga style. I, I know it's not the same thing, but just to make him understand that I want the style, anime and manga. Let's see what he's going to do while he does that. I'm now going to set it to realistic here. Look, style, realistic, oh, cinematic. And I'm going to check here in the description if he included anything about anime, since he took the description from an anime, right? He has hair, you know, with a slightly messy style. All right, character. I'm going to put the man here. So it doesn't just sound like character, character, because character makes it seem like it's a drawing. Okay, here. He has a white emblem, striking a pose and all. Let's see here, a tattoo. The background is vibrant, red and purple tones, lit up with rays of light and all. It highlights men... I didn't see anything about anime here. Let's see what he's going to do. Look, just, it turned out really cool here. He got the anime style, cool. He put the Pegasus symbol here. Now let's see what he's going to do. If he's going to go for a realistic style. Ideally, I should also add the name 